In this video I will show you how you can make a USA digital hard drive that was taken out from an enclosure, a shack, shacked drive, where you had it in a USA digital my book or elements, external hard drive and you took the disk out and you want to use it in your computer, but it doesn't work and Ooh. you wonder why. Doesn't work. Yeah, the drive is fine. Doesn't work. Everything in the computer is fine. There is a SATA not working. SATA power and SATA data connection. Pin three mode. Here we go. Yeah, it needs the pin three point three volts. The drive is not spinning. Mode. The drive doesn't spin because the pin the three volts connection is uh, there. Some of these Western digital drives they need this modification. Um, it's I don't know why they have to do it like this. If you have a NAS enclosure, you might not have to do this at all. But if you use it on a computer with a power supply for a computer, some of these drives, you, you the white label West Digital drives, you will have to use the modify the power SATA power connection slightly, a little bit. I changed the SATA cable. Uh, reseated the SATA power cable, it did the same. The drive is not spinning up, it stays powered off, and it's like it's not working at all. It's not recognized in Windows, not in Windows, not recognized at all, even in the BIOS. Yeah, it looks like the drive is not working, but it's not. You need to tape these pins. I use electrical tape. Capton tape is the ideal, it's less residue from that tape, but I don't have that, so electrical tape works fine for me. I don't intend to use these pins, but if I do, I can clean it up with a bit of isopropyl alcohol and it should be fine. The tape should only cover from the, the data port is on the left, the smaller one, and the power port is on the right. From the power port point, port? Next to the notch, you see there is a bit of a indentation on the left. You count from left, pin 1, 2, 3. These three should be covered. Those are the pins responsible for the 3 volts, 3.3 volts, plus and minus connections. The tape is better if it's a little bit longer than the port, like this. So you can fold it over the edge of the SATA, SATA connection. Like that, it, you really make sure it will not move when you insert the, the connector, the SATA connector into the hard drive. This tape is very cheap, so you can change it anytime you like. Normally I don't change the, I don't remove the hard drives from the computer. If you need to unplug and plug the cables a lot of times you can use a SATA to Molex adapter be careful that you use one that is uh, is not molded that is crimped so that you don't have a problem with the SATA cable and power failure yeah this modification is ready now now the hard drive is ready to be inserted in the computer and to try again so I make sure that the tape is folded over the edge and then I insert the power connector. And the data cable, there's no modification there, it's uh, fine, you can insert it without any issue, but just I have to spin it a little bit, it's on the other side. Yeah, it's a bit like the USB story here. I hold the hard drive just like that. Power on. Yeah, let's see if it works. Oh, it's spinning. I feel it spinning. Okay. One small piece of tape makes the hard drive work. Okay, we got it. drive is spinning and it's really silent. Nice.
it's silent because it's a helium drive these ones usually are more quiet than the regular drives also it spins at 5400 rpm so i can use this drive like uh, any other internal hard disk drive and it was cheaper to buy because it was in an external enclosure okay it shows up in windows perfectly everything is great thanks for watching let me know in the comments if you did this and how it went how it worked